Thank you, Brittany. Concerns continue this morning in Kaneohe after a Navy aircraft overshot its landing, ending up in the water. Chris Latronic joins us now live from the windward side with a look. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Christine. Happy Aloha Tuesday, everybody. Yes, an extraordinary situation from yesterday at around 1.57, right behind me at Kaneohe, uh, Kaneohe Bay off of Marine Corps Base Hawaii. It was a P-8 Poseidon aircraft. It's a military uh, aircraft. And for context, it's the military uh, military version of the Boeing 737. So uh, just for context on how big the plane is. Uh, the good news is nobody was hurt. There's around nine passengers that were rescued and made the shore all safely uh, but the big concern right now is it is still sitting in the water and with a big fuel tank of possibly around 10,500 gallons of fuel as well as other materials that could be leaked into Kaneohe Bay uh, with the really uh, sensitive reef areas uh, and also fishing areas we also uh, to find out exactly what happened we talked with uh, aircraft specialist Peter Foreman he said there is ways to find out exactly what happened well, you know, there's um, cockpit voice recorder, there's data uh, from all the instruments on board. So uh, they can go ahead and they can put together the scenario pretty, pretty well. So they're going to have a pretty good idea what should have been done instead. Yes, yeah, so and we'll be looking forward to that report when they do put it out. But right now, the concerns for the community is definitely uh, just the possibility of the environment being really affected with the fuel as well as the other material that could possibly be leaked in. But throughout the morning, we're going to give you updates right here from Kaneohe Bay, especially as we get more light visibility to see what's happening for today. This is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii right here outside of Kaneohe Marine Base. Sending things back to you.